right so here is the problem I have so first well yeah I wanted to place this uh, line of trees in the side of the road with the procedural tool that we have been developing and the problem is that we can fix it later right so I need the trees to be placed on in between this uh, these uh, concrete walls in this space so yeah I can simply do that here I will select this procedural object and yeah, let's go to the tree and here I can add an offset to the location of the tree of each instance like this well that's too much yeah maybe something like minus 50 so it works now I can move them to the space in between but the problem is now that I have added that uh, offset in the X direction and now here that direction is taken place that offset but since I am I've been adding it in the world space that offset has been applied in this way not in this way so yeah I'll fix this problem later I can do it with this uh, procedural editor utility widget uh, but now I'll focus on this one right, so to fix this issue what we have to do is we need to apply this uh, offset in the local space so let's go to the procedural object and to the place we place the instanced static mesh which is this one right now here I have using I have been using this LS to set a world rotation and the relative rotation rotation but I didn't use the uh, offset that I need to apply uh, using I didn't calculate it using this setup so I have just added that offset like this well like this array element offset so yeah without doing it like that well, I think I should clean this up a little bit before doing any modifications. So therefore, I'll put this on like this. And I'll isolate these two. WS LS I'll call it WS LX LS conversion so this is rotation 2 means rotation offset and first one is Time point rotation. That's better. Now, to this one, I also need the location of this line. I'll call it spline location. Spline point location, and also this uh, array element offset that 
Wen ist das so? Ja. Das ist ja Lolei. I'll call it Location Offset. Okay, now for this WS set world location and rotation, I'll use this element, uh, this node instead of just setting the rotation. Then for the ls also set relative location and rotation oh wait So location offset I'll apply for that and the new rotation is this rotation offset and yeah okay now here Instead of using this two, I break it and I need only one pin now. Get the LS this one world location. Get world location. Okay, this should do it. Let's see. Right, as you can see, the problem is fixed. Cool. Now, uh, as long as the road goes, you can see no matter the direction, the tree always placed in between this space we have here. And I'll wrap up this episode at this point. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club. Link could be in the description below. Also, depending on the tier you join, you will have different privileges like access to source code and uh, the shooter series and everything. And this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me and see you in the next episode goodbye